Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the brand new in-testing Russian Tier 9 battleship Navarin. Now the Navarin is described in game as Year of Design 1915 and the description given is In November 1914 work on a new battleship design commenced with the primary focus being to arrange 406mm guns in quadruple gun turrets. The secondary battery comprised of 130mm guns produced by the Obukov factory. While the main turrets were positioned along the ship's centerline, because of the outbreak of World War I, no ships of this design were ever laid down. So this is the Navarin. Okay, so let's start as usual by having a look at the ship's armor layout you can see here using the armor model in here in port or in plating 32 millimeters upper 32 we get multiple sections of a icebreaker belt 113 125 and 181 so very nice icebreaker bow the armor belt is 340 millimeters the upper casemate quite solid 75 the main deck in multiple sections this raised section is 32 this lower section is 35 here you can see the superstructure plating 19 millimeters here at the stern aft end plating upper and lower 32 millimeters again an extended aft end armor belt almost to the tip 125 millimeters here okay so looking quite solid at the moment we'll look at the internal plating as you can already see there is an element of sloped plating here on both sides we look at the actual citadel citadel is slightly raised above the waterline 50 millimeters and the deck is 75 at where chip is 300 millimeters and the same at the stern 300 millimeters so it's running from the tip of the gun turret on the rear to not quite the tip of the gun turret on the front now that's the citadel now this is further reinforced or ties in directly to the ship's hit points. 69,400 hit points. This is at tier 9. 25% torpedo protection damage reduction. And this is further reinforced by having four repair parties. This is the build I'm using so I am boosting the number of charges. Just like the Russian ships, you get this fast action damage control, limited number of charges. So a max of five damage cons and four repair parties. Upgrades I'm using. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Reload mod. This is just for testing purposes. I am using the Nikolai Kuznetsov captain. Okay, so let's take a look at the main artillery. You get 12... Of these 406 millimeter guns in three quadruple mounted gun turrets the reload is 29 seconds at the moment a max dispersion of 250 meters and a max firing range of 20.8 kilometers these turrets can rotate 180 degrees in 34.5 seconds you get armor piercing and high explosive the high explosive has a max damage of 5,850, 43% fire chance. They can pen 68 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 793 meters per second. And the armor piercing on entering the enemy citadel can inflict a max damage of 11,000 with the same shell speed, 793 meters per second. Okay, let's look at the secondary battery. Secondary battery armament, you get 18 
of these 130mm guns. These have a 2.8 second reload with a base range of 7.7 kilometers, firing high explosive shells, max damage of 1800, 10% fire chance, they can pen 22 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 823 meters per second. Now this is further augmented by having eight twin mounted 130 millimeter guns, 16 in total, 34 in total of these 130s, but these ones, these twin mounted turrets, have a slower reload of 4.8 seconds. Again, firing high explosive, the exact same, exact same stats as the other 130s. Identical in terms of damage, fire chance, penetration and shell speed. So 18 single mounted and then 16 twin mounted, all of the same gun caliber. Okay, moving to the airstrike, you get one attack flight with one aircraft dropping two bombs. These bombs have a max damage of 4,900. Quite a short operational range of only eight kilometers. And they have a reload time of 30 seconds. In terms of AA defense, rating of 86, you get 10 of these quadruple mounted 23 millimeter guns. They are primarily up here on the superstructure, but some on the deck. 18 of these twin mounted 37 millimeter. Here on the gun turrets. Eight of these twin mounted 130 millimeter. These twin mounted guns, they double up as AA mounts, these secondary guns. All combined, they pump out a continuous average damage of 389. Vast majority of this is short range, as you can see the numbers here. Navarin can fire six shell explosions per flak salvo with a max damage of 1540, priority sector reinforcement of 35%, and a max firing range of 6 kilometers. In terms of maneuverability, Navarin has a base speed of 27.5 knots. This can be increased to 28.9. Turning circle radius, 770 meters. A rudder ship time of 16 seconds. Now, I am using the propulsion mod so you can reduce this. Should you go steering gears, you can reduce this down to 12.8. Now finally, stats wise, in terms of concealment, concealment rating of 52. Again, this is with a full stealth build using both upgrade and captain skill. Now a concealment rating of 52, which equates to a surface detection range of 12.1 kilometers. You will be detected by enemy subs and aircraft at 10.1 kilometers. So this everyone is the Navarin, the brand new tier 9 Russian battleship that is currently in testing. So when there is some gameplay available, I will update the pinned comment below. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe to come back for future updates. If you'd like to see some live gameplay, Feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. You can see the link here on screen. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep Sailing it like you stole it.